Everybody's running around. Not quite sure what to do. Come on now, you can do it. There we go. So now we've got extra lanes as they come down here for getting in and out of these roads. Oh, we had some cars disappear. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines 2 with me, Biffa, here in Kettle Bridge. And today we're going to be working on some cargo train stuff. We want to make sure that our goods can get in and out of our city as quickly and as cheaply as possible. The lower the cost of getting goods in and getting goods out of our city and when i say goods i mean materials all the things that our industries our commercial all of those are using offices as well are using to make the different goods that we have in the game the cheaper you can get those all down the better because that means what they're selling is cheaper so what people are buying is cheaper they've got more money left over which means they can pay higher rent one thing will knock on to another which will knock on to another so that is the plan for today just having a little bit of a, a look over the top of our city if i swing it around this way we can see we've got industry up here so that's a stone industry our industrial buildings here we've got a lot of farming going on here a lot of oil going on here and some forestry so lots of different places that really need the help so Let's do some planning. Let's make this thing work the best it can. And just before we do that, here's a word from our sponsors, NordVPN. Hugo is long overdue a holiday, so he's decided to travel the world enjoying some wildlife photography. He never knows what's coming next, and he wants to back up his precious photos on his home PC to keep them safe. While he's using the camp's public Wi-Fi, he needs to make sure his online connection is secure and his data is protected from hackers, malware, and phishing scams now that's where nordvpn comes in like hugo i'm often out and about and want to use public wi-fi so i'll have nordvpn on my tablet on my phone and on my laptop i'll just do a quick connect so when i'm using their free wi-fi i feel nice and safe and there we go we've got a nice connection in the united kingdom uh, you can use any of these other countries that are listed here if you so desire and then what i always turn on is the threat protection over here so one click and that is turned on there we go and we're protected against malware trackers and ads and malicious downloads as well so absolutely fantastic thank you nordvpn so go to my link at nordvpn.com slash biffa right now and get the nordvpn two-year plan with four extra months free it's risk-free with nord's 30-day money-back guarantee it might just be the best decision you'll ever make for your online security. So while we're on this view here, I just want to take a look at the natural resources that we have just in case in the future we want to plan out any more. And we do have ore down this way. So we've got oil, we've got farming, we've got farming all around here. Ore is probably the next one that we're going to get to. So if we can have access to that as well, which is right by this train line. Oh, there is a cargo train already taking stuff in and out of the well in and out of cities over there taking them to cities somewhere else completely different and we want to hook into that so let's have a look we've got to fit a depot in i'm thinking of this spot over here would be a great place let us take a look so we've got the rail yard i should say which needs to be plopped in um, and then that will unlock our train station and our cargo train terminal so i'm just sort of looking yeah okay let's pop in our rail yard down here if we swizzle this around we're going to actually purchase some more squares zoink all the way up there i'm going to grab those two and we're going to sort of have this along the highway here there we go maybe something like that would be good um let's just put some temporary roads in here while we're waiting because you're not complaining about all the electricity and stuff where could we hook that in we've got some other roads coming in and out we can hook onto we'll come back to that in a moment and then let's grab our rails. So if you notice here, we've got different sorts of rails. We've got like a very small rail. Then we've got a double rail. Um, so we can hook into as many of those as we want. So we've got the two-way train track, which is going to be, yeah, that one there. Oh, now everybody's happy, even though that doesn't go anywhere. And then we've got this one here, which is the double train track, which goes there. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe making use of this one for now. We've also got, as you can see, the one-way uh, rail lines that we can use so that is not the slope i was looking for let's try that one again there we go so i'm going to bring that into there and then i think what we're going to do is just bring that into there it's not going to be 
perfectly the same each side, but that'll work, and that'll at least get us in and out, which is good. And then, I mean, I'm just thinking here, we could even just sort of attach these up here. Let's maybe do, do it this way. How is this one going to hook into there? Is that going to work? I mean, it looks like it is. I mean, eventually, these might not all sort of stay hooked up like this. I'm probably going to change how they look anyway. But, yeah, that will do for now. That's good. Um, our road network. Now, where do we want to go in? Because we've got to think we're going to have a lot of trucks coming in and out of here. They could come down this way because this is industry anyway. And I think that junction will probably be enough to deal with all of this so i'm just going to change our little road layout that we've got here oh i wonder if we could use that new tool oh let's use this one here the complex curve i'm going to go like that and then i'm going to go into there that did not do the complex curve i was thinking of let's try that again if i go i never use this one like that and then that no <laughs> don't feel like i'm getting this right <laughs> let's go like that and like that i want that last bit to turn that is not that is not turning. I'm definitely doing something wrong there. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. I suppose if I actually did make it a one-way road, that would make more sense. There we go. Excellent. And then I just want this sort of hooking back into here. And I think that will be fine. There we go. So that can still get in and out. We've got access in here. And I'm hoping... Let's have a look. So electricity should be fine. That's coming through there. Yep. And water and sewage should be fine. So why is that showing it's not hooked up? Oh, I see. It's just some end of pipes over here. Oh, there we go. Unpause the game a little bit and they've all gone. Excellent. Um, I may or may not have a little entrance and exit onto the highway. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, there we go. So that's our rail yard. Uh, we do have some optional upgrades. Capacity for more trains. So what have we got at the minute? Eight. I don't know what that's going to give us. An extra five. Okay. And then this one here is a maintenance hall that makes maintenance faster. Oh, I like that. That just fits over some of the uh, lines that we've got there. 34000 a month. Uh, we will leave that for now. So any trains that you do set up, of course, have to come back for maintenance. That is the that is the big thing. Now, I've just realised, of course, I'm talking about all the trains, all the trucks coming down here. This is only the rail yard. This isn't where they bring the goods in and out. That is what we need to set up now. So if we jump into here, we have the cargo train terminal. Yeah, I'm just going to move that. We want this to be able to go in both directions, and it's only got a rail coming out of one side. Um, it's going to have to face this way. I'm now thinking about where the road's going to go to get from one side to the other. So let's just maybe plot that in the middle, more or less, with that one. We'll go with that. And then if we take our rail line, then hopefully... What we can do is just sort of bring that alongside like that. 170, that's near enough. Excellent. So now that can go in both directions, which is what we want. And then we're going to take our road. And I'm just going to sort of run that up the side here. I always forget which tool I'm in. And then where are we going to connect to? I mean, we've got this end of road right up here. So maybe that is all we need to get in and out of here there we go excellent so that should give it the power and everything it needs very good so has as we've got this set up at the moment um i'm not sure whether we need to set up cargo railway railway route yes we do so we have to do these as well so i'm going to go from this one can we just take that all the way out the city we can and we can bring that back again so that is our route that goes to do, 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 do. If I check the name of this one, where is that going to? Hinden. Okay, so the brown one is Hinden, and then we're going to set up a second one. But I want to just change the color on this one first. So let's go into here. Uh, we're going to make that sort of green. So cargo, railway, Hinden. There we go. Excellent. And then I'm going to set up another one, create a new route. And then this one's going to go all the way up here to what's this one called milford okay excellent so now we can bring in goods and send out goods to either of those directions there we go milford we'll just maybe change that up to a slightly different color i'm not sure whether we can set the amount of trains we can so we've got two out of three on that one i mean why not we'll leave it at that 
And that's actually, do you know what? No, I'm going to drop it down to one. And then we're going to sort of see how it goes. Because I know these sort of things are going to cost us more money. Did the other one only give us one anyway? Yeah, if I clicked on the same thing three times. That, <laughs> that's Hinden. Milford. They're both on one. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, and there it goes. Look, it's going out already. Probably has no goods on it at all. Yeah, nothing on there. But what will happen is, is goods will be bought in and they'll be stored in here. Oh, very good. And we can view both of those. Excellent. So now we want to see if we can get some of these goods going easily in and out of our city, but also hook up to the stone that we've got over here. So I'm just thinking, as we've got this industry and this stone over here, that another railway line over here somewhere would be good. We're going to need to split off of this one and come down here, which I think is going to mean get in another square and i'm just wondering as well we could also attach alongside this our normal train station for people coming in and out so let's just have a look at that so that's got three lines coming in and out so we need to yeah leave ourselves some space for that just realize that they can't get in and out of the uh, the depot that we've got here so i'm just setting up for us a couple of little loops i could do the loop on the other side why wouldn't it let me do it on this side oh there we go excellent so they can just get in and out of the depot from there very good so yeah um a little train station over here i'm thinking maybe this side of the road which means we're gonna have to buy that that mm, now where we're we gonna take this up here and then sort of hooking down here somewhere like that. I mean, that's going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 16. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Yeah, let's do that. Let's purchase that. We've got the money. Oh, we're losing money again. <laughs> A teeny tiny amount. Well, we're putting all this new stuff in. So it is going to cost us the money, isn't it? We're going to have to sort of dig into the hillside a bit, I think, to get this set up. We're almost getting to 10,000 residents, which is fantastic. This is weird that the rail doesn't go in and out both directions. I'm not being stupid, am I? And completely missing that. Nah, yeah, it doesn't come out the back. Okay, we'll work with what we've got. So I'm thinking we're going to put it here and connect it up, maybe upgrade one of these roads, something like that. So let's take... Actually, I'm going to take that height we've got there. Any height difference by the highway, we can sort of work on that. Like that. And then we're going to run our roads. Into there. And then we're going to just sort of upgrade this one. There we go. To do that for us. In fact, I'm going to just move that over. There we go. That's a little bit better. So they can get in and out there. That's no problem at all. And then we've just got to run our rail down here. And find a way of hooking all of this up. So let me grab this. We're just going to sort of follow our nose. And look at the... Uh, Look at the slope. Look at the degree that we've got. So minus 0.5. That looks good to me. Yes, I'm sort of thinking, what are we going to do here? We need some sort of funky, clever junction to get in and out of this. Maybe something like this. I mean, it's not too high tech. I'm going to just sort of leave it like this and see whether we get any problems with too many trains coming and going or whether this will work okay. Uh, we'll see how that happens. Also, I'm just looking at this rail. Of course, this rail is only... It says it's a two-way train track. It is, but you can only fit one train on here at a time. Um, so I'm actually just wondering whether we should upgrade this to a double train track all the way down until down here somewhere and then we'll have a look at that and it just means that we're going to get um do i need to upgrade this to a double as well i'm not going to be able to actually i can there we go there's going to be train experts telling me this is all wrong but the proof will be in the pudding once it all starts running and then down here we have only got one rail that goes in and out so i'm just wondering whether when they get to the end they're just going to automatically stop and not get in each other's way 
I guess we shall find out when it starts running. Excellent. So now they can take their goods in and out. We've got some already being stored there. Fantastic. We've got some already being stored here. Beverages, petrochemicals, concrete, convenience, food. We're exporting oil. Got delivery vans coming and going. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to set up some routes from here going to our two external cities. Oh, do you know what? We've got these ones as well, haven't we? Or have we? Is that the only place the rail goes? Up there and down there. It is. We can obviously add our own connections. But yeah, let's just stick with these ones for now. So let me just do that. And there we go. Milford, that is the last one. We'll just adjust this color a little bit. There we go. Excellent. So it'll be interesting to see how the usage uh, goes up and down on these. Again, I think we're just going to go for one on each of these. And Hinden... <laughs> I've already done that one. Why do I keep clicking the one I've already done? And this one here. Excellent. There we go. So what I'm hoping is that as we see all of these goods going in and out, that's going to make a difference to our production, our money, and all that sort of thing. Um, loan interest. I want to see where we can sort of see that figure. Yeah, not really. I mean, if we have a look at the transportation, we've got the fees that are being paid, which I'm assuming, as it says, their citizens and companies pay the fees. Wow, that train is loud. Um, so that's going to be part of this information that's going on here, which we're not quite making a profit yet on all of this. So we're going to leave that running and hopefully we will do soon. We do still have, and before this episode, we didn't have such a, a deficit on anything. We were doing really well. But of course, as the city grows, our deficit will grow as well. So it'd be interesting to see whether those items can get in a little bit quicker. Right. Oh, everyone's suddenly upgrading things over here, which is nice. We do need to expand. We've got lots and lots of these little bubbles. Now, this is something just worth mentioning. These not enough customers. Um, it is a little bit of a bug that is in at the moment when I'm making this video. It should be fixed uh, very, very soon in the future. But we can see they're doing okay. They're coming up to level four. So... There's no complaints really to be had. We can ignore that one. But the one we do want to be careful of is the high rent. So all these people on the front are going to start going if we don't sort out the rent. So, I mean, just adjusting the tax could help with that. I should have a quick look. So what have we got in here? Oh my goodness, there's so many people in here. Wretched. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm just going to assume there's a lot of wretchedness going on. <laughs> We're going to drop the taxation down. What are they complaining about here? Higher taxes, minus two. If we can get that down to zero and still make some money, that would be good. Right, no one is complaining about high taxes now. So maybe they will change a little bit with that. Also, land value can have a big effect on this sort of thing. So building land value, we can see all the green color. These are pretty high. Actual land value is pretty low if this is to be believed. This is higher over here. So it really does just come down to the cost of goods, the cost of stone and things. They can upkeep their buildings and the amount of tax they're paying. So let's do that and see if that helps. Now, this is a symbol we haven't seen before. We have not enough vehicles available for all the lines that we're working on. Our bus depot cannot keep up with the demand. So if we look at our buses here, where is our bus depot? Here we go, right the other side of the river in Teal and Downs. So this has a limited amount, 25. So we can upgrade that. An extra garage, going to cost us some money, give us 10 extra vehicles. We can also change to electric buses, which I don't think we're going to do. But I'm instead going to look at the usage on each of my... I've only got four lines. So the usage is pretty low, to be honest. So any that are particular low, I'm just going to... There we go. Look, not enough vehicles on here. I'm going to drop the amount of vehicles down on these routes and hopefully save it that way. And the cost is pretty high as well. Do you know what? We did that as a bit of a test in the last episode. So I'm going to drop these down. I'm going to halve them all and knock a bus off. And yeah, see whether more people use it if we're not charging them through the roof. So we have a look up here. 5,700 a month using the buses. So if we're going to drop this price down on all of these. There we go. I'm going to take one off of there. Excellent. So that should be okay now. And again, that will 
make people say the rent is too high they won't complain about the cost of the buses they will just complain about high rent because they've got no money left afterwards So let's let our trains run for a while, see how that helps us. Right, so we're getting over here a lot of high rents uh, comments as well. So we're going to try a different sort of zoning along here. Uh, we've got the mixed housing, which has got apartments above and shops below. We don't actually have a huge amount of commercial needs, but I'm going to pop these in anyway along here just to give a little bit of cheaper housing available and some shops as well and just see how that goes and then i'm also thinking about putting in we've got some high density demands yeah popping in a bit of a block of flats somewhere just to really help with this density demand what have we got going on over here we've got that posh house i'm sure he doesn't want a block of flats right in front of his posh house let's maybe up zone to some yeah, medium density row housing along here as well. We could just sort of fill in some of this. In fact, I'm just going to fill in all of that. And then hopefully some people will, have, will in fact move over there instead when we get a bit more medium density need, which we don't have at the moment. Okay, now, could we go back and start adding in some high density? We haven't got the this yet but until we get to Great Town. Or offices is small city. Yeah, so it really is just the residential. And start building up some of our area around here. We were thinking more towards this end, weren't we? We were going to start building the height up a bit. So maybe let's just rezone some of these and see how that goes. I know they're not complaining so much over here. But it will sort of mean that people will move out of one house and go into another house. And that might just sort of work. I'm going to sort of mix this up as well. Let's go for that one there. And then some medium density housing there. So we've got different... Some different options for people to move into. And already we've lost our high density demand just by placing that one building down. So is anybody going to move into it? We will find out. I'd also like to add some more bridges across here. I had a lot of comments about this bridge. I asked you to vote whether we should keep this or not. Lots of people said keep it. We called Kettle Bridge. Why not? And loads of people gave me all these different bridges in various parts of the world that are longer than this. And yeah, no problem at all. So all the people that say it's not realistic, we are going to be keeping it. But I'm thinking that we are going to just slightly change this sort of setup over here. And just see so we can run a bridge across this part of the water. There we go. Excellent. We're just going to remove these buildings down here now. There's no zoning there. Very good. Don't know what your problem is. You've still got zoning there, but you can grow back. Excellent. So now we've got an extra access over to this area. Um, I feel like we're going to need a little roundabout in there. So we're going to pop that in which brings hopefully more people into the farming and will bring more people into this area, which means we are going to upgrade this road here as well. Yeah, it's not going to let me get all the way into that roundabout, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, auto save. I have a quick sip of tea. That was the roundabout we had problems with last time, wasn't it? If I make that roundabout bigger, new, no, but I'm going to make it bigger anyway. I'm going to pause. I'm going to delete that. We're going to make it bigger. It's then going to let me upgrade that piece of road. And then it's going to let me draw this in, isn't it? Aren't you game? Whoa. Turn off the snapping. Oh, man, seriously. you got to be able to get this in. It's a bigger roundabout than it was before. No way. Okay, we're going to maybe just sort of change this up a little bit here. Oh, there we go. Let's me do it that way. Excellent. Okay, that's fine. So we've now got... More ways of getting in and out of this area, which is good. And now we can start maybe expanding over here as well. Do we need more? Oh, look at that. Oh, we're making money. I've dropped the prices down on things. I think more people are moving in, almost maybe, and we're making more money. How are we doing on our wood is okay. Our grain is the one that's the problem. And our nearest zone for that has got a load of houses on it or up here. Or we now have this square open to us. Maybe we could just do a little something with this area.
Okay, there we go. I'll switch one of the farms out for carrots because we need some of those as well. Everything should be hooked up and working. Uh, this is connected to here, which can come down to use the rail station, the cargo station over there if they need. Oh, power and water. Let's just sort those out. Where are we not connecting? Oh, I know. Of course, yeah, this road doesn't connect anywhere. This road here could connect over here if we added in another bridge i'm thinking we could possibly do a little something with this one There we go. Excellent. So now we've got lots of access, more bridges in Cattle Bridge than we know what we can do with. Everything's all connected up. You've got your water and stuff like that. Excellent. Very good. So then we're in spring as well. It started to rain. I'm waiting for the snow to start melting. I'm sure it will very soon. What is the temperature? One degree. So probably need it to warm up a little bit. All we're making of the money. Everybody's really happy, which is good. Our production still on the old wheat a bit of an issue but i'm assuming that these aren't going to be at full capacity just yet no so what we're going to do is we're going to have another little community out here i think to get some people living over here and we've got the industries down here as well hmm let's just check we haven't got any other resources that we're going to be messing up not really so how about this little bit down here opposite the river this could be a nice little spot to live let's lay out some roads down here i'm just wondering whether we could use one of our landmark buildings these are the ones that you got if you pre-ordered the game and we've got this one here the botanical garden which i think if we put this over here on the coast that's going to be something lovely to look at for all the people living over there <laughs> that they want to come and visit not just you know look at it um so maybe let's just do a little bit of terrain work oh we just passed ten thousand population fantastic uh let's just level this out a little bit because Otherwise, it's just going to look a little bit weird up against the road. There we go. That should be enough space. I'm going to pop that off to the side. Yeah, let's have it there. Then we can have a bit of parking in as well. That gave us 2,000 XP. Oh, man, look at the detail on this building. Can hear that. What can we hear inside? I'll tell you what. Let's go into camera view. And then I'm pretty sure we can then literally go inside everything. We can... What have we got in here? Trees. Okay. Well, it is a botanical garden. I thought I could hear monkeys. That's why... I know it's not... I know it's not a zoo. Somewhere to sit and eat. Oh, wow, the glass effects as well. When you're looking outside, it really feels like glass, doesn't it? Don't know what that is. Something to do with a pirate. What does that say? <laughs> Treasure Trove Comics. Well, there we go. Get your comics. Oh, look, did you get close? No way. Can we actually read the words on these things? Oh, my goodness. Looks to me like it's that sort of fake made-up Latin that you sort of put in when you haven't got any words you want to use just to fill the space. I think you know what I mean. But, wow. 4K textures, I'll tell you what. This is absolutely fantastic. Imagine if we start getting all of these sort of props that we can place in our cities. This is going to be great. Right, okay. So, oh, we didn't go down here, did we? Let's have a quick look through here. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, there's an upstairs as well. Oh, let's go up. Won't bother using the stairs. Get the nice look down. Oh, this is really good. Oh, I'm liking this. And then you've got a nice maze going on outside. Very nice, very nice. Well, let's uh, beautify this area a little bit. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit of work. Plop some trees, plop some paths, plop to park, plop a bit of parking. Yeah, we've done all, all I want to do around here. And I think once these trees and things grow up, look very nice with the key wall. People are already looking. I need to sort that slopey bit there. People are already looking from over here going, oh, I really want to visit that place over on that side. Um, we can help them with that. Uh, let's have a look at our bus routes. 
do we have a nearby bus route we've got these couple of bus routes here that could just take uh, a detour around here um which side of the road do i want it to be on going up on the left so going up on there yep that's fine let's grab this one we'll just like grab all of them and bring them around here so the bus is all going to be turning around at the end i should have put that on the other side actually let's move that stop still crossing over the road what <laughs> what am i doing what am i doing am i going to bring all of them in i think we are let's just bring them all in and then i can sort them out afterwards if they're crossing over that'll be fine so it's just those ones okay so if anybody else wants to come over i'll have to get the other route over to here okay let me just see if i can sort this out yeah I'll tell you what we need we need a way in from both directions don't we then we can stop them crossing over so let's just do that again but that one's gonna come down to here there we go excellent and then this one will come in from the other direction and we'll go to this one up here okay let's just maneuver around yep there we go nobody's crossing over excellent that is good still a bit of crossing over there we'll ignore that i'm sure it'll be fine and then i want to add in a train station that's going to bring people in from the outside uh, a normal standard train station these aren't too big um, let's just have a look at that so we've got the road on this side then we've got the rail on that side which we could try and hook in in these two different places here so let's just maybe pop a little bit um do we want to keep these yeah i think we'll keep these as a nice sort of crossway going on here there we go excellent let's have a look at this building oh nice looking building as well we've got lots of got three different wow this is quite a large size isn't it i bet this has got some upgrades as well so extra platforms so that'll just add the platforms on to the lines that are there subway interface a taxi stop when we've got taxi depots and station services or oh, restaurants kiosks as extra comfort oh okay interesting uh for now i just want to get these hooked up to our outside lines so let's just see what we can do here Okay, there we go. I think that's hooked up nicely on there, which is good. That can go in both directions on our main line. Um, and I'm just thinking here whether we can sort of smooth this out to be a bit of an embankment. So if we take the height that's next to it, I don't know. That just looks a little bit odd to me, doesn't it? So maybe instead what we'll do is we'll take this height, we'll build it out either side like that and then we'll sort of smooth it down so we'll go from there to there and sort of go like this yeah i don't know we'll work on that i might actually put this train up in the air instead and that might work a little bit better but for now let's not worry too much about the terraforming i'll sort that out in a bit let's get some lines in uh going in and out so passenger rail we are going to pop in so we've got different stations here yeah we're going to go from this one here all the way over to this one over here so that is going to be hinden there we go excellent and then from this one we're going to go all the way over to do, 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 this one over here which is milford of course once we've named this area we'll we'll change these names up but for now that will do um how many trains are we going to get on here two i'm just going to drop these down just because i think that's just going to be too many uh there we go ticket price i'm going to leave it as it is uh we've got free parking in here as well which is interesting you can sort of change that if you wish so that's fine yeah i don't think that's bad and then people can come over here and visit this area this nice little uh, botanical gardens that we've got so it'll be interesting to see how many people use that eventually we're going to want another train station I mean, when we start spreading over to here, I'm going to have another train station to bring people from one side of the city to the other. But as it stands at the moment, 
I think that will be okay. Just thought we'd beautify this area a little bit, but I want some shops and some other buildings around here. So I'm going to use this little alley. Excellent. And then I just want some shops and things around here, although we don't have much need for commercial at the moment. I'm going to pop a couple of shops and then I'm going to pop a couple of offices. And we're going to just sort of see how that goes. Maybe some offices along the front there as well. Excellent. I feel like I want to just pop another little park in here as we've got the space. Let's just flatten this out a touch and pop in. Oh, a teeny tiny. What have we got? Small park. I think should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Just add a little something, something. Excellent. I thought I heard a train coming in. Here we go, our first train, absolutely covered in snow. I love the models on these trains, I have to say. Anybody on them? Nobody on them just yet. Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> I'm sure this area will get better as time goes by. Now, while this area is being built up over here, I've noticed we've got a bit of a traffic jam going on in this area. Oh dear, let's have a quick look at our overall traffic percentage. I mean, overall, it's not too bad, heading up towards the 80%, but this particular spot is getting bad, although this bit's cleared up, that bit's still bad. And that is probably because... We've got 209 households in there, 208 in there. You get the idea. We've got lots of households all moving in and struggling with this traffic. Let's just follow this along here and see if we can maybe do a little something that will help. I'm thinking this little spot here could just do with us a small roundabout just to keep things moving. There we go. This has got traffic lights on, which I don't really want stoplights. Uh, traffic lights i should say we're going to get rid of those we shall probably put nothing because they're all small roads going into each other so we'll see how that goes this isn't too bad going that way this has already got a roundabout and is that the largest one i think it is we could do a little bit of asymmetrical road goodness in here uh this one here so i want the extra road going into the roundabout She's just going to destroy that house. We'll do the same there. We'll do the same here. This one doesn't need it. Let's just speed things up a bit. Everybody's running around. Not quite sure what to do. Come on now, you can do it. They're working their way through. Also, we've got a lot of people crossing over right where the cars come on, which is never a good thing. So I think what we're going to do is take off the crossings there, 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 and this one isn't too bad. We'll leave that one. And where else can they cross? I mean, they can cross down here. Oh, we've got a lot of traffic coming up this road as well. I think we're going to pop another little roundabout in there. Oh, it's not going to let me. Let's just get rid of that path. Pop a little roundabout in and we'll just pop that path back in again. There we go. Excellent. And this is starting to clear up down here. But what we want to make sure is that these people here have some transit options to get around the city. Now, we do have some stops along on the main road here. I'm just wondering whether bringing the buses down to in here as well would help. Uh, let's just, if we did that, where would they go? They could come down there, go around and come out again. So actually, I'm going to do that. There we go. Got that in the right stop. And that is only going in one direction. Or I think it goes up, round and back again, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Let's see how that goes. We'll take off the stop that we're not going to use. Uh, refund amount there we go and hopefully that will assist a bit as well let's just let this run a little bit and see if this traffic eventually goes down and i'll tell you what it is it's this roundabout here and the amount of roads that are coming through here just isn't quite enough a lot of people are turning down here which you know is to be expected so what i'm thinking of doing is i'm going to increase the size of this roundabout here and i want to add on that asymmetrical road but going in this direction which i think will help we're going to do the same over here and get that going and let's just keep an eye on that and i feel like this road here needs to be a larger road so we're going to Get that in the middle if we can. There we go. So now we've got extra lanes as they come down here for getting in and out of these roads. Oh, we had some cars disappear. They couldn't work out what they were doing. So let's just keep an eye on this. I think if this bit goes down, 
that is probably going to save all the issues that we've got. We do have a lot of crossings on this roundabout, but I think we're going to be okay. What I would like to do, which you can't do at the minute, is I would like to have stop signs or yield signs on these two roads coming in. So these ones here get priority. But unfortunately, if you add in stop signs, you get them on all sides, which is a bit of a bummer. I'm going to remove the crossings there and there. If they want to cross, they can use the other side of the road. So as you know, we don't get traffic despawning just because they can't, you know, there's too much traffic. Oh, look at all those motorbikes. You will get traffic despawning if the car just literally can't get to where it's going, which will happen sometimes. I think the traffic's going down, to be honest. Let's just watch this. I'll have a quick sip of tea while I'm watching. Oh, we've upgraded something in the background. Let's just take a look. Oh, Vertigo Square. Excellent. New signature building. I think we've uh, I think we've solved it so far. But that is that is literally all of that was from a couple of high rises. So it doesn't take much for areas to start getting super busy. I mean, if we take a look around here, the amount of people that are now walking around and driving on the pedestrian roads please don't do that yeah it's starting to get pretty busy no parking around here everybody's parking on the main on the main roads around here let's just give them some parking here we go pop a couple of car parks in there for them there we go look this main road is now empty this is fine this one's fine this one's fine solving the traffic excellent that's what we want to see up to 11 and a bit thousand, making lots of money, up to 5 million. Everybody's happy. Lots of demands as well. Oh, excellent. I can't wait for the patch to come out that fixes this not enough customers thing. Because I hate looking out over the city and seeing all of those. <laughs> when there's no issues, really. But uh, we don't have any figures that will tell us. Oh, auto save. How many people? Attractiveness. How many people are coming in here? The efficiency is a lot higher, which is good. Yeah, we just sort of get an attractiveness. Oh, maintenance. Oh, do we have a park maintenance building? This might be something that I've asked before and actually popped in, but I don't think it is. Let's check one of our older parks. Maintenance zero. <sighs> we don't. I'm pretty sure we don't. It's not popping up anywhere. It'd have like a, yeah, that sort of symbol on the top. No, okay, so where are we going to pop this? I think we're going to use this little road here next to our high school. Noise pollution pollution is low on this building. And I bet these are going to go flying out. Vehicles are new zero. You, you sure you don't want to send all your vehicles out? Because there's so many parks that have, ne oh, here we go, that have never been maintained. I'm sure they're all going to go out eventually. And then the upgrades we get are increased space for more vehicles, supply storage, so they can work for longer which sounds nice. Well, I think that one vehicle, he's obviously going to be doing... At oh, there you go. Two's going out. <laughs> I thought he was going to do it all himself. But no, he's fine. Still got a lot of snow. It is March. Wow. And it's still snowing. Spring will come one day soon, I'm sure. So we wanted to check the figures on our mass transit, didn't we? I think it was about 5,700 odd uh, that we were using the buses before now it's 5916 and the usage is going up which is good uh, we now also have people coming in via train as well 248 a month uh, citizens are using it and tourists uh, six months not, not so many just yet but they'll be getting there lots of tons of cargo going out via our cargo trains as well i think that is helping us with the money uh, one thing with our transit i want to just check the buses so you've got one you still get a little visual cue so our three or four buses there are doing okay it's worth just checking the lines i think i'm going to drop this down to 20 we're going to just i mean that's flipping expensive buses isn't it but you know we're learning we're trying to balance things one thing i don't like doing is going all the way back once i've clicked on this to get back to that menu again i've got to go all the way through all the other menus but these are quite empty. <laughs> oh, there is some on these. You just can't see the white dots because it's white on yellow. Let me just adjust these other ones as well. So I would like to ask uh, my viewers, if you could just help me out with something that uh, isn't, isn't much for you to do, but would mean a lot to a lot of other people. Um, you might have noticed in the community over the past couple of weeks, there's been a lot of hate that's been going around. A lot of it uh, aimed at the performance of the game. 
we spoke about that a lot yes the performance needs working on colossal order are working on it things are getting better already i can run at 60 fps yes i've got a high end pc lots of people are using lower end pcs and getting reasonable performance and it's only going to get better so whereas a lot of that anger is is quite justified uh, what you do with that anger is another thing altogether giving constructive criticism getting refunds of the game if you want that's fine but a lot of the hate has spilled over from just anger at the game to hate and anger towards Colossal Order, towards Paradox, which has also then spilled over into a lot of hateful comments and attacks towards other City Skylines creators. Now, we have a fantastic community. We, we just all get on. We enjoy the game. That's creators and viewers alike. And I just think it's been really sad and very unjustified, some of the horrible, hateful comments that I've seen towards other creators. So, this is the small little favour I'm asking of you. If you're not one of those people, which I'm assuming if you've got this far in the video, you're probably not. Um, could you just think of your 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 favourite creators or just any creators uh, in City Skylines? Go to their videos and just leave some nice little comments. Just say you appreciate the work that they do. Anything that you can think of. Just a nice little comment. And really just try and make somebody's day. And we can sort of counter the, this group of people that just want to go and hate on anything. Uh, they'll hate on the next game that comes out that doesn't run at 3,000 FPS and it won't be City Skylines 2 anymore. But until... Oh, look at that bridge on the road. Not good. <laughs> but until that happens uh, and these people are still here, we can, we can counter that a bit with just a bit of kindness, just some nice comments. So... Um, don't do it for me just go and find some other creators out there that you know maybe some smaller ones some up and coming ones wow's either bouncy trees aren't they some smaller up and coming ones and just just leave them some nice comments that show you appreciate what they do and you know even if you've got concerns about the game that's totally fine you're allowed to have those not stopping you from having your opinions on that that's no problem at all if you do want help my discord has got people posting their specs their stats the fps tweaks all sorts of things and i'm pretty sure by the time you watch this video there's going to be another performance patch that's out so you know things are being worked on oh mind your head we're not inside the building um <laughs> a really weird view let's just switch that around this way because the train's going to go the other direction so if you could do that for me that that would really mean a lot to me and i'm sure i mean a lot to the other creators out there as well people are using the train they're coming over here to visit this area fantastic so thank you very much for watching thank you for your continued support if you're new please subscribe we we are growing the channel is growing and that's all down to you and yeah really excited to hit a million i think we're going to do it maybe by the end of this year i don't know we shall see but uh, lots more city skyline 2 content oh auto save <laughs> coming your way so yeah enjoy have a great day i will see you all very soon take care bye bye